Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick from Herbal 411, and today's unboxing is on Biotics Research Omega-3. Uh, I do like this product, and I like the company. I've done some research, and I've talked to several different companies or representatives, and uh, Biotics Research is turning out to be a strong company with sustainable supplies. And I'll transition into comparison. Now, I used to always suggest Viva Brand, and I found it because it was approved on Consumer Labs as far as omega-3 oil, and pound for pound, for every capsule of omega-3 oil, there's about a thousand milligrams. So that's pretty decent, and the price point was really affordable. And the problem I find now is because I always go to Consumer Labs to get approvals or disapprovals of companies I'm not sure about. I've never heard of Viva Brand, but it was approved. Unfortunately, it's not approved anymore. And it's like, oh gosh, I'm not sure whether Consumer Labs just left them out of the evaluation or they found that it's not worth testing this anymore. But I, you have to be careful. As a physician, if you're one of my patients, I have to be scrutinizing. Are, do I have to worry about mercury? Do I have to worry about adulterants? Do I have to worry about a company that says they have a thousand per capsule, but then they don't have it? And that's where Consumer Labs comes in handy. So I'm making the transition now. This is a little bit of a rant as well, in addition to an unboxing. So the rant is that um, it's becoming very frustrating for me to make my own vitamin choices or my supplement choices based on Amazon supply because I've had this has been uh, difficult to get. Uh, my, my suggestion for people with uh, diabetes or insulin resistance or just cravings, berberine is now off the list. I love the amazing formulas because it was given a thumbs up by Consumer Labs, but now it's not. So, and then the Trifala, which I suggest for my patients with gut issues or SIBO or IBS, that was missing for so long. And I've had in the past, my, mag my favorite magnesiums from Now Foods are sometimes there, sometimes they're not. It's like if I depend on all this stuff to be my medicines, my daily supplements, and I can't rely on it to be always there, I always have to scramble at the last minute because I don't subscribe. I usually just buy as I feel I need it to save on money. I know you can save on money if you subscribe, but it's just very frustrating. So I'm now making the switch to evaluate several different companies that have good quality. They might not be investigated by consumer labs, but they usually will have their own in-house. And I know that you question in-house, but that when you can have a company that makes a supplement and it's been around for a while, as long as it hasn't been sold, like um, New Chapter. I used to love New Chapter, but it was sold to Procter & Gamble, and I now don't trust that. Uh, there's other companies that do the same thing, and I, I think it's fine for companies to make money. But if they go into big, big industry, I think you lose the autonomy and you lose some of the quality. Biotics Research is, I'll be doing more uh, opening unboxings on Biotics Research products because I'm leaning into that company as being, it's a family owned company, but I, I'm leaning into them as being sustainable. And if you, if I can pass on my savings as a distributor to any of these companies, but it's probably going to be Biotics Research, then to my subscribers to uh, with YouTube and to my mem members that belong to my practice. And it's a membership only practice that I run virtually and out of Hoffman Estates in my office. Then I can be healthy myself, save some money. I'll be a distributor of one of these uh, companies and my patients that uh, become members or my patients that subscribe will also be able to take benefits to uh, my savings. So um, I'm not gonna. I'm not public, and I'm not. Um, I'm not going to put this on Amazon because it'll just be feeding into the same market strategy that I don't like. But anyway, as I as I digressed from this, I don't mean to make this too much of a rant. But the objective again is to figure out what is the best way to get omega three oil. And total omega three is important for brain health as far as DHA. It's important for joint health and cholesterol and triglycerides as far as EPA. And those are the two big fish oil components. If you are plant-based, you have a little bit of a difficulty in, because plant-based uh, omega-3 is ALA, technically. It's not really omega-3, but it's ALA. ALA, if you eat it in a capsule from a plant-based form of omega-3 oil, 
can sometimes get converted over to true omega-3. I know I'm throwing around names, but the problem is if those of you who are aging and gaining weight and gaining uh, blood pressure issues and having high triglycerides and lower HDL and elevated glucose as you age on the timeline, you're going into metabolic syndrome. That's one of the most popular diagnoses in the United States that sets you up for stroke, cancer, or neurodegenerative changes. And we want to take care of that. Along the timeline, you want to take care of it early. So even if you don't have any symptoms, it's important to change things or modulate. And how do you do that? Exercise, diet, and spiritual practice or calm. Now, if you have maximized on that, great. But if your numbers are still there, we have to do something. If you haven't done any of those three, then you should. And if you're not sure, again, become one of my patients with the link down below or consider joining my membership only practice. But in some cases, all three of those are, are three of the five different uh, symptoms that put you into metabolic syndrome can be taken down or controlled with omega-3 oil. Now, I guess the question is how much? And I used to I always suggest Viva brand, but again, it's not available on, or I should say it has not been evaluated by consumer labs. So I can't trust this company anymore. I wonder what's going on. And if they say what's in the capsule is on the label, great. But it's not a big company, so I don't know about Viva. And I usually will default to either seeing evaluations by consumer labs or going with small companies that have been around for a long time. And that's where Biotics Research comes in handy. There's a couple other companies that a lot of doctors sell in their practices and a lot of um, ancillary physicians or doctors like chiropractors, naturopaths, or nutritionists will also sell at a discount to their members or their clients. And I think that's important to share the cost with who, at least if I take it, then I suggest thumbs up. But I also, I feel bad about charging excessive amounts and I would try to pass the savings on to my patients. So if I become a distributor, then I can control the, what you get charged versus just going to Amazon and buying whatever they charge you. Again, quality is important. The price point's important. And then the evaluation by me or your doctor is important to figure out how to manipulate those things that are you're accumulating as the timeline of aging comes on. Or if you want to think about it, it as a timeline of disease continues to get worse with you. So if you do have metabolic syndrome, which most Americans do, at least 50% have all three or all five symptoms, and then more than that have at least one symptom. So even if you have one symptom, that puts you into metabolic syndrome or of the categories of metabolic syndrome, you try to reverse that. If you can't do it with, uh, on your own with the exercise, diet, and spiritual practice, then I think hammering that triglyceride level, the glucose level, and maybe your appetite will be helpful with the right supplement, and this should be it. So the, just for full disclosure, I bought this. I'm not a distributor to a biotics research just yet. I'm leaning into it because they're tending to, they're showing to be the best company that I've evaluated thus far. I have about five companies that I'm looking at and I like these guys. They're still small and privately owned or family run. But the amount that you'll see on a capsule is, uh, is less than this. So the amount of total omega-3 in one capsule is about 500 milligrams. But the question is, will this quality be at a lower dose be equal to this quality at a higher dose when I don't know the quality or if there's mercury or other adulterants in here. And I'd say I trust this company. So I'm going to switch over. I'll do a self experiment. I'm going to switch over to lower dose milligrams per day. I usually take 2000 twice a day. That's 4000 a day. I'm going to switch down to 2000 a day. And I'll see what happens. If I can take 2000 a day, and I can keep my blood tests low as far as triglycerides and fatty acid profile, then this a thumbs up. Then that will be the proof in the pudding that quality takes, uh, trumps quantity. So hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas about a fish oil that you can get. If you're struggling because you don't know how to manipulate fish oil or supplements or what to do, if you think it would help your disease process, don't wait too long. If you continue on the timeline and then you deploy supplements at the last minute, they're probably not going to work as well. 
I mean, you can still do that while you're on your prescriptions or getting your procedures done, but deploy them earlier in the timeline. And that's going to be the crux. How do you know when to deploy? Are you going in that direction? And, and that's where your doctor is supposed to help you. But if the education process isn't there, then you come see me. And in the meantime, I'm going to put this as a thumbs up. Uh, and in fact, I always do the sniff test and it's not that bad compared to some omega-3s. Now I don't have any more omega-3 here, but this smelled like fish. And whether that oil is rancid or not, I'm not sure. This does not, this does not smell like fish, which is another positive. So hopefully I can give you some guidance in the next 30 days when I repeat my triglyceride level and my glucose level. And I'll also give you a update as far as what the taste is like and if I get that burp reflex. Oh, oh that's my last point, is whenever you take an omega-3, whether it's a smelly, one, a, a smelly one or a non-smelly one, I always put it in the freezer. I think that old trick, putting it, your capsules in the freezer and then emptying out the bottle and keeping your bottle where you can see it every morning so it's a reminder, that will give you an added protection against reflux and or digestive upset. And I'll talk about digestion later in a couple of other videos. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the button wherever it is. And I'll see you at the next video.